Today, I've got a killer transcription service for you. So if you wanna find out more about transcribing for a blog, for YouTube captions or more, then stick around. G'day, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and we're here to help you with tech for content creation, and today we're looking at transcription services, in particular, one transcription service called Speedscriber. Speedscriber is a service that's online, uh, but if you've got a Mac, and you do content creation primarily on a Mac, then this is superb. We've got a Mac OS app, which you'll be able to see right now. It allows you to upload your audio, from your video or even just a podcast or um, you can even upload a video if you wish. It takes that and transcribes the spoken word into text, which you can then use for your YouTube captions to have proper captions in place and get that little CC mark on your YouTube videos. You can use it to create a blog post. You can use it to just create a transcription for your podcast or your video, whatever it might be. So how's it done? Well, they upload, you upload the file to their service and their computer AI transcribes that for you. It's not human transcribed, but it's human AI transcribed. And it comes back to you in the app within a few minutes. Then you can then go through and edit and make changes as need be where there's been some sort of error, but you'll find that it's fairly accurate most of the, most of the time. Now the killer feature about this is when you go and do the, uh, the, the, the checking and check through, the app itself has some killer features that allows you to skip through it quickly and easily. We're gonna look at that in just a moment, but some other points. How does it work? How, how, it, does it cost money? Yes, it does cost money. As you can see on here, it costs roughly 50 cents a minute US, depending on how many minutes you buy in bulk. If you buy like a lot of minutes in bulk, it can be even cheaper down to the 40 or 30 cents a minute, uh, as you can see right here. The resulting file, as I said, can be exported in a manner of formats, whether it's just a pure text document, a PDF, a uh, subtitle file that you can upload to YouTube or, or other places. You can even export it back into your editing software, Final Cut Pro, Premiere, Avid, so that you can actually bake in your video subtitles right there in your video if that's something that you wanna do. We're gonna go over right now and have a look at the app in action on my Mac and see how it works and then we'll come right back. For this tutorial for Speedscriber, we're looking at, I'm gonna walk you through real quick how I upload an audio file to the Speedscriber service and then when it comes back, how to go through and uh, go through the transcription and make sure that everything's fine and just make all the changes that you need to do to uh, get it working. So first thing we're going to do is fire up Speedscriber first of all. Now as I uh, mentioned at the beginning, Speedscriber, this is it here, is for the Mac, it's in the, available from the uh, Mac App Store. First thing you notice up in the top corner here is uh, my account's logged in. I've got 56 minutes of transcription services available and you can see a list of some of the previously transcribed videos. So what I want to transcribe is one of my recent videos that I've just uploaded to the channel, one of the quick YouTube tips, and I want to transcribe that. So first thing I want to do is import a file. So I come across here and click on the plus, and then I navigate, I want to do the YouTube watermark one. Now I've got an output file from Final Cut Pro that is just the dialogue, which is this file here. And so I'm going to take that and upload it. And the first thing it asks me is some information about the fact that it's um, English Australian, which is correct, how many speakers are in it. So if it's like an interview, you can have it detect the two different speakers and transcribe speaker one, speaker two, or interviewee, interviewer. But it's just me on this video, so I'm gonna change that to one speaker. It tells me that the length of the recording is three minutes, 48 seconds. So that's gonna charge me for four minutes of transcription time because it's going to round it up to the nearest minute. It never rounds down, always rounds up. So in this case, three minutes, 48 seconds is four minutes. Now when I'm happy that that's the correct file, I can see both channels of uh, audio there. I can click transcribe. It's going to confirm that it's going to use four minutes of my credit and then I'll have 52 minutes left. And I say, yeah, that's fine. Transcribe. 
and as you can see here now it's uploading the file to the Beatscriber um, servers to process the audio and do the transcription so we're going to allow that to do its thing and what we have to do you can see now it's popped over to the side here dialog it says it's processing here so we're just going to wait for that and you see that didn't take too long and it comes back with transcribed as you can see there so I'm going to double click on that what it does is it now opens up uh, the window that you see here which is basically the text what you see there is the text and when I um, hit the play button down the bottom here it's actually going to play back I can hear the audio and it will actually t uh, read along and highlight the words as they're being spoken so I can see that everything matches up as we go we're going to find things that are mistakes and we're going to fix some mistakes we're going to hit play and then see how we go G'day this is Doug and you can see today it said I said good day but it says today so we can fix that up by just going up and retyping it and then if I hit play from here because I've highlighted that word it's gone it's gonna go back to that word this is Doug and today we've this is Doug we don't want to full stop there so I'm just gonna say hey that full stop needs to be a Doug and today and you can see what happens there it, it uncapitalizes the end and makes it a continuation of the sentence so we're fixing up punctuation and things that we come across along the way so let's keep going We've got what I would call a quick, quick YouTube how-to tutorial today. This comes from a comment. Okay, so there you can see it says, uh, I didn't pick up my it comes, so it says today comes from a comment, which you could get away with. You know, you don't have to get super, super accurate unless you're doing like a transcription for like a blog or something where you need to correct your punctuation a bit more if it's just for captions for youtube for example you probably don't need to fix it up as much so let's just keep playing how to tutorial today this comes from a comment from uh, one of my recent videos from a commenter called leaked penguin now i'm probably going to capitalize that because the name of the uh the dude so what i can do is just hit the capitalize button down the bottom here leaked penguin and it it saves me having to retype the whole word, so I can do the same with Penguin. And it reads, how to add the subscriber thing in the corner. That should be subscriber. Subscriber. Subscriber thing in the corner. And basically, Leaping Penguin, what you're talking about is... What and I said his name again, but this is Leaping because I was a bit muffled. Um, so it should be his name again, Leaked Penguin, basically Leaked Penguin, comma. Leaked Penguin, what you're talking about is what's called the branding watermark or the subscriber watermark. That should be or not of, so we'll just fix that. The subscriber watermark, and we're going to show you how to add one of those to all your YouTube videos straight away. So first thing you want to do is get over to your computer. Here we are. Of all okay, now we've got over to the computer. I'm going to just send that to a new paragraph because this is where that was the intro. Now I'm going to the main body of the tutorial. So I like to just separate those out just for the transcription purposes. You don't really need to do that for captions, but uh, just a little thing I like to do. I'm going to continue through this so you don't have to get the whole, whole thing and we'll get right to the end and I'll show you what to do once we get it finished. Alright, we just finished through that, it was quite a quick uh, video, sometimes it takes a bit longer. So the main things you have here is when you pause or you highlight a thing, you can capitalise the first letter, uppercase the whole word. This little mini X deletes the punctuation, this large X deletes the full word. And here's where you can add some different punctuations like dots and semicolons, colons, commas, full stops, uh, and some other uh, bracket information. This gives a carriage return, which gives them a gap like that. And that's it. And so you can just, um, wherever if you want to go back, you just pause, click on the word you want to change, or go back to, to, to start from, and hit play from there. 
It's as simple as that. So the last step is how do we export our completed file here? What we can do now is got the file, export, and we have uh, several options. Now, if you're wanting to upload to uh, YouTube as a caption file, what you want to do is outload as a SRT or a subrip file because this will come through all the times and markings so it's just going to save it to the same folder as, as my job or wherever I got the um, audio file from you can give it whatever name you want I'll just leave it as that hit save and that's output and then what I've also will do is sometimes I like to get myself a transcript as well uh, I tend to do that at the same time so I think I'm just going to go plain text and there it is so now I can close Speedscriber if I go back to my channel we're going to go find that video that uh, that was the uh, captions for I'll show you quickly how to upload uh, the captions to the video so that I actually have them captioned so I'm going to go to my creator studio and it was this most recent video here it's already got 60 views but we're going to add the captions better late than never as they say so I'm going to click on that I'm going to go down to subtitles and CC's which is closed caption and it pops open my video I'm going to go add new subtitles up here I'm going to just tell us it's regular English and then we have three options here I'm going to go upload a file it's going to pop open basically it's got the automated Google captions already in place but I want to upload I'm going to change that to subtitles file and I'm going to choose file and we're going to navigate to the folder and find the SRT file which is this one here .srt choose loads it in here upload and I believe that's uploading yep so now it's uploaded the uh, text that we just put in it's loaded in there with all the t correct timings because of the audio file that we uploaded and we click publish over here and now you can see it says subtitles published big tick box there if we go back to the video manager in creator studio you will see that we now have the little closed caption logo which will also appear as it, when it's appearing in people's uh, video feed so then people who are looking for video specific of closed captions because of hearing impairment and other issues I want to watch the video that will attract them well that was a quick demonstration of how to use speedscriber to transcribe your uh, video audio or podcasts into text format and get it accurate quickly and easily if this video was helpful to you in any way make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want more videos on content creation tech and strategies apps and more then why not subscribe and check the bell so you don't miss anything well this is doug for doug houston youtube and i'll catch you later